Today my 5 year old niece asked me why my smartphone makes that shutter sound when I take a photo. I suddenly realized she has never seen a physical camera in her life. Reddit. What things did you have to explain to kids that made you feel old? A few months ago I to raid the USS Intrepid aircraft carrier in NYC and was standing behind a family as we went up to the bridge. One of their little girls picks up a phone by the helm and asks her parents what's all this wire for pointing to the cord. Her father looked to the mother and said dear god she's never seen a corded phone before. I couldn't help but laugh along with them. My 8 year old was telling my wife about a part in a book that she is reading. She explained that it must be a pretty old book because I had these thing called chalk erasers for the board. You write with chalk, then wipe off the board with them. She told us about how in the book, the kids put chalk between the lines of the eraser. When the teacher tried to use it, it would just put more writing on the board. While teaching some third graders, I took a pocket watch out and looked at the time. I was carrying it because I had just moved and didn't yet have a cell phone. The kids were mesmerized and asked what it was. I explained that it kept time and needed no batteries nor plugged in. All I had to do was keep it winded. They thought it was so futuristic. I saw Star Wars for the first time at a drive-in from the backseat of a Vega. The older I get, the more of that sentence I have to explain. I'm completely ancient, born in the 60s, and I have often told youngins the story of when I asked for the new Atari video game for Christmas, because it was cool and had pong, and my dad told me to wait until next year when it would be in color, and I complained, dad, it's never going to be in color, and now I'll just go pick out a nice casket for myself. Dude, choplifter and food fight, best childhood games ever, also, welcome to Reddit. Years ago during the first Jackson trial my friend and I were looking at a joke page about him. It just happened to have a picture of the Thriller album on it. His sister comes up from behind and asked who that was. We said Michael Jackson and she said Michael Jackson was black I had to explain to her what happened. I'm 59. My son is in his mid 20s now. About 10 years ago he is looking through a cabinet and picks up a phonograph record. He's holding it up. Looking at it intently, and I realize that he's never seen one before. He says, the information is stored in the grooves I go into an explanation of how that works. He looks at it, says, well, it's just exposed. Doesn't it get damaged easily so I explain that, yeah, it does. All of which was expected. What I didn't expect was when he flipped it over and was surprised that both sides got used. Drop a bomb on him. Information on CDs, DVDs and Blu-rays are still in the grooves. It's just there's a layer on top now. In many cases, several layers, with several layers of grooves. The Dewey Decimal System, DOS, Encarta being the OG Wikipedia, and it is now safe to turn off your computer. I had completely forgotten about the it is now safe to turn off your computer thing. In primary school there was always one kid whose job would be to switch off all the computers in the computer room when they all said this after everybody else left. My daughters were with me in the car, singing along to payphone by Maroon 5. I decided to ask them what a payphone was. No idea. When they are a bit older, show them the wire. How primitive tech like pagas and payphones were used to creatively try and circumvent surveillance. I was using an older 35mm film camera to take pictures of a friend's 2 year old a few years ago. It's a great old Olympia and I have a bunch of lenses I got for it really cheap. Whatever. He kept grabbing it trying to look at the back and I had no idea why. I was just like stop. Smile and he would pose again and grab the camera again. He was trying to look at the non-existent screen to see his picture. 1 megabyte memory cards for PS1. Not having the interrent. Those dang memory cards cost like $50 each. My little brother was playing a racing game on the PSP. He said it wasn't working because the car wouldn't turn when he tilted the system. I had to explain to him that you only have to do that while playing on a newer system. I didn't even think that the PSP was that old. Frick, I don't know how people can stand those tilt to steer mechanisms. They are usually done so crappy that you have no precise control at all no matter how careful. I was reading Goodnight Moon to my 3 year old son and was asking him to point to things like the 3 bears in the chairs and the mouse in the house and crap. Then I said can you point to the telephone. 
He had no clue. He's never seen a telephone. I had to explain to a 17 year old how to mail a letter. He had no idea how to buy a stamp, address the envelope, or where to put it once he was ready to send it. Older folks say that, but then my dad will call me over and ask how to add an attachment to an email. Explaining to college students what the CC and BCC actually came from, and then explaining carbons and mimeographs, and how to operate a turntable. I took a college course once in computer office admin stuff. A question on the exam was what does CC stand for? I answered carbon copy and got it wrong. He said that it was courtesy copy. Not really sure if that's true or he is an idiot. We have Dish Network and I always say I am taping something. Don't change the channel. My son was like what had to pull out the VHS on that one. Mind. Blown. Tried to explain the Macarena to my younger cousin once. It sounded stupid when I said it out loud. That's okay. The Macarena was never anything but stupid. Don't feel bad. Dial tones. So that you'd know when the phone system was ready to receive the signals generated by your moving your finger around this round dial thing. I never thought about that. My children may never know what a dial tone sound is. Co-worker's 13 year old daughter was given the task of ordering pizza. When she called she waited about 2 minutes, made a confused face and hung up. She dialed the number again and waited but continued looking confused. Finally she looked up at us and told us there was something wrong with the cell phone. I picked it up and called the pizza place and it was busy. She had never heard a busy signal. A 17 year old girl said what you talking about Willis in such a way that I had to ask if she had any idea what it was from. Apparently she had just heard her mom say it. It is important for parents to do this so that pop culture from 30 years ago can live on. I think it's funny that when Jon Stewart makes references to old pop culture icons, especially when he does the Johnny Carson voice, people under a certain age have no idea that he's referencing anything. They must just think he's doing a funny voice or that the lines are simply non sequiturs and funny because of their randomness. Oh god, I think you might be talking about me. I was at my dad's with my daughters and my 9 year old needed help spelling a word. She said she would google the word and my dad was flabbergasted. He proceeded to pull out his dictionary, which is older than I am. 35. My daughter looked at it funny and my father gave me a lecture on how the heck his granddaughter didn't know what a dictionary was. We were listening to moves like Jagger by Maroon 5 at work. I work at an after school program at a middle school, when one of the girls asked what a Jagger was. A rich elderly English knight from Kent. I was wearing a watch with a face on it the other day and one of the kids I work with asked what it was. I had to explain that it tells time. He was beyond confused. Oh by the way he was about 6. Apparently schools don't teach analog time anymore. I still have a watch. I wear it every day. It has the tick marks for the hours only no minutes or actual numbers. My stepdaughters have no idea how to tell time on it. They can't tell if it is upside down. They are 19 and 17 respectively. I was kicked in the shin by a 6 year old flower girl for not being able to show the image I just took on my camera. She thought I was lying to her. She had no concept of film and all she cared about was instant approval of the photo. Back in my day the school bus didn't stop at every dang house. Side note. I am late because the bus I was behind stopped at every dang house. My sister is 19. And I'm quite a bit older than her. She loves texting me with ease. Hey. We're learning about the 1980s in school. In history class. OMG I just realized you lived in a world without internet. Just saw what cell phones looked like when you were a kid. Wow. I had to tell my now 17 year old stepdaughter what a rotary phone was. We were on vacation and stopped in a thrift store and there was one sitting on a table she asked what it was. I told her. She looked at me straight faced and asked, what happens if you mess up when you are dialing a number I replied, you have to hang up and start again she replied to that with the typical teenage answer, that's dumb. I was at the grocery store with my girlfriend's 8 year old daughter, we were walking out, and she sees this pay phone, and of course she asked what it was, I explained what it was and she was shocked, and of course, wanted to try it, I thought, yeah, 
She'll probably be the only one of her friends who has talked on a payphone. Surprisingly, it still worked. I gave it to her. She put it up to her ear, pulled it away while looking at me strangely, and then slowly hung it up. I was confused for a minute and then asked did you hear the buzzing sound she said yeah, I think it's broken. I then realized she'd never heard a ringtone before. I just started laughing and tried to explain it. I don't know if she understood totally, but she called her mom and loved it. I hope she remembers that forever. Dial tone. I'm only 19 but I drive an old car where you have to roll up the windows. I realize that in a few years kids won't be seeing these things and probably won't understand the roll down the window sign. The little girl I babysit asked me what the two dots with a curve meant. She meant this. I told her it was a smiley face. And she said that's stupid. Why wouldn't you just use the little yellow smiley? Are to be born in 2004. I had to tell my cousin who Dark Vader was. He grew up on the Clone Wars saga. Poor kid was heartbroken when he found out what Anakin turned into. Think of what you could have done with that. Watched episodes 1 and 2, then skip to 4 and not tell him that it's Anakin as Vader. Not only would your kid have the surprise of Vader being Luke's father, he could watch 3 and have an even bigger surprise when he realizes that Vader and Anakin are the same person. Just a thought. I babysit for a 6 year old and a 9 year old. Their parents have always used iPods exclusively. They came out in 2001 if you're wondering. And their school used iPods for music and stuff. They had legitimately never seen a CD. One asked me if it was a DVD and I said kinda but it's just music. She was like oh, what's the point of that? So as an experiment I started bringing my old portable CD player whenever I babysat. Most knew what a CD was, but few had ever seen a portable player. And I've never met a kid under 13 that knew what a record was, how it was played, or what it was for. I am 19. And I've never met a kid under 13 that knew what a record was. This really surprises me, as a record still seems to be one of the main symbols to represent music, like headphones and musical notes. Even if you've never used one in your life, you still see them all over TV shows, movies etc. I was recently talking to my dad to remind him how old he was, since it was recently his birthday and he told me, you know, our first computer had 250 megabytes of disk space and 4 megabytes of RAM, and I paid like $2000 for it. Today I have a 1 terabyte external drive that fits in the palm of my hand. My first computer had 32 kilobytes of memory, and zero disk space. Programs were stored on cassette tape, and took forever to load. I think it cost $600 in 1982, and it used a small TV as a monitor. Anyone ever have to explain why we had get up and change the channel on the TV? Or adjust the rabbit ears to get a better picture? Or what it was like when we only had 3 of 4 channels and if the president was on you had to watch because there was nothing else on? Not exactly what the OP asked for, but, as a 41 year old, it amuses me to no end that my 39 year old girlfriend and her friends complain about Katy Perry using the exact same reasons and the exact same language that my mother used to complain about Madonna in 1985. Brakes were squealing and I made a Flintstones reference. Kid smiled and said oh the serial guys. I'm thinking of making one hour a week of Boomerang Network watching mandatory in my house. Worse still, the reason many of them can't shut off the shutter sound is to prevent guys from taking candid shots of unsuspecting women. On iPhone 4S, can't confirm other models, the shutter sound is silenced when you turn your phone to silent vibrate by moving the little switch on the left side so it shows orange. I'm a librarian. I was helping a kid about 14 look for a book and mentioned that we had the book in question on CD. He said, what's a CD? Of course, this particular kid was dumber than a sack full of hammers, so it may not have been a generational thing. My boyfriend's little sister, age 3, has her own iPad and knows how to use it perfectly, but she doesn't know how to use a mouse. We're not even old, she's just spoiled. Our landlord had a landline installed in our BKLYN app due to the crappy cell coverage. When she called, my 7 year old was taken aback and I told her to answer it. She picked it up and said WHO is this. I don't think she's ever heard the standard hello in her life. 
I had to explain to my 7 year old half brother, who only watches his shows recorded on the DVR, why we couldn't fast forward through the commercials while watching regular TV. I was teaching 6th grade last year and one of my students, who had been reading the first Harry Potter, raised her hand and asked me what a VCR was, and then working with a ceramics class, one of my 8th graders made a ceramic floppy disk because he'd seen one on the internet and thought it looked cool. I've got a 12 year old cousin who thinks that the swastika symbol is just some bad guy symbol. When I corrected him and told him about the holocaust, his mind was completely blown. Even called balls a few times but eventually just sat there like a broken record and kept repeating but 6 million is so much. Something that kinda freaked me out was seeing 9-11 and the war with Iraq, and others, in a history textbook. I was like, wait, that just hap, oh. My little brother thought that it was the greatest thing in the world that when you stomped while playing a record, it would skip. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.